This is Charlie, this is Chuck, his dad, and uh, they have joined us from North Carolina. They drove all the way up here to tell us their story in the continuing series, as you all know, of um, the Office of Working Products at FDA meeting with patients, hearing their story from their perspective, uh, reminding us of why we're here, what we're doing here, to try to make new drugs for people with rare diseases and make sure that that happens, um, just as a way to make uh, the work that we do, much of which is governmental, actually all of which is governmental, um, you know, relevant to people's lives. So we're, we're going to hear their story today, and, and just thank you so much for coming. Really it's appreciate it. Thank you guys for what you do. It means a lot to us. So I just want to say that up front so I don't forget before we leave. So this isn't um, all that structured, but maybe if we could start off with a little bit, you're just telling us the story. How did you learn uh, of Charlie's diagnosis? Um, how did that come about? And how did you feel about it? Well, uh, every year on January 6th, we have a bonfire. And we help everyone get rid of their Christmas trees in our backyard. And so, uh, when Charlie was uh, 18 months old, we had one then. And the day later, he was limping, which we thought, OK, maybe he twisted his ankle in the backyard or whatnot. And then the next day, he was dragging his leg. Mm. So I thought, OK, that's not normal. Mm. So I took him to his pediatrician now. The, f the foreground information is my wife's family has a history of Duchenne. Mm -hmm. uh, but sh when she was a, a teenager, she was tested in Germany, and there was uh, no reason for alarm. Mm -hmm. So when, Char when she was pregnant with Charlie, we also had her and her mother and Charlie's amniotic fluid tested, and again, no cause for alarm. So um, he didn't know why I wanted to do that, but I said, just, just test it anyway. So he did, and it was obviously through the roof, so we knew uh -huh. that. So we found out um, January 9th, and uh -huh. so it was a little bit of a shock since we, we were told several times that there wasn't any risk to speak of, uh -huh. or no, no obvious risk. So that speaks a little bit to some of the testing that's done in, in uh, early on, uh -huh. and in, in carriers or suspected carriers. Um, so how do we feel about that? Well, yeah. my wife obviously knew what the long-term effects of that were going to be. And I had been appraised of that prior to us getting married and everything, so I was aware. Mm -hmm. um, so we felt, as you might imagine, we would feel. Devastating. 